Not only can I know the will of God and I know the power of God, I can speak myself into the plan of God. Every day. That's how you get things. You got to feed on it every day. Say, feed on it. Feed on it. Every day. Every day. What if you want to be healed? What do you got to feed on? Healing. healing. Healing verses. Why? What's in the healing verse? Healing. Prosperity? No. no, healing's in the healing verse, right? What about youth renewal? Mm. Yeah, any scriptures on youth renewal? Yes. What's in those scriptures on youth renewal? Youth renewal. youth renewal. How do you get it out of that scripture and into you? by saying it by hearing it by feeding on it right you are what you eat if you eat chickens every day what are you going to become a chicken. a chicken be careful when you cross the road you may not get to the other side anyway so you understand this right what about prosperity is is there am i saying this right is there prosperity power in the scriptures concerning prosperity yes. Yes. now is that true or am I just making things up here so if you want prosperity from God God's way right there's other ways you get a handgun go rob a bank probably won't last very long because they also have guns there you see but if you want it God's way you take his word you put it in your mouth and in your ears right and then prosperity begins to change on the inside of you and it comes out it's a great thing so now do you believe you're called to something do you believe God's called you to something well I don't know I don't know I'm just called to be a, a truck driver and live my life and die and go to heaven God's called everybody to something number one he's called you to glory right so he's called you from one glory to the next glory he's called you from one faith to the next faith and he's calling everybody up you understand I don't care where you are you're supposed to go up from there does this make sense so wherever you are say wherever I am wherever you got to do it like this say wherever I am you got to go up right from there that's where God's calling you he's not calling you down well anyway your calling and you can listen if you can hear this your calling comes by speaking in other tongues your calling comes to you say comes to me comes to me by speaking in other tongues you understand this why would that be what are you calling when you speak in other tongues you're calling God's will for your life you're calling for it if you call it it will come right so your calling comes to you and I'm speaking from experience here by the way too the more you speak in tongues the more you can know what your calling is the more most people don't most people go through their whole life and miss it is that what you want to be you just call me miss miss it hi I miss miss it no you don't want to miss it you want to fulfill it well if the only way the only ways you're gonna fulfill it is by having it by knowing what the call is how are you gonna know what the call is you're gonna to have to call for it your calling comes through speaking in tongues the more you call the more you know the less you call the more ignorant you are of the call Do you understand so the more I speak in tongues the more I can know specifically what God's called me to are you here continue calling and you will know the will you will know the plan say continue calling, continue calling. and I will know, I know. the will. will I will know, I will know. the plan. plan is it good to know God's plan yes. is it good to walk in God's plan yes. right mm -hmm. not off of it and fall off a ledge mm -hmm. keep calling and you will know the power of God to fulfill it now think here for a minute use your brain when the Holy Ghost came into the earth he gave everybody the ability that received him to do one thing and it was the evidence of them receiving him what was it to speak with other tongues as he gives you utterance why would he do that because embedded in that is the will of God is the plan of God for your life and without it 
have you any possibility of fulfilling the plan or the call no no it's in there it's in there what's in there the plan the call and then if you continue you keep calling you'll know the power to fulfill it are you here God didn't leave you naked thank God he didn't leave you without anything he gave you the ability to fulfill the call to know the call and to have the power of the call it all comes through speaking with other tongues I hope you like that how many churches in Maine would like that how many churches anywhere would like that just saying it that plain they wouldn't like it well too bad so I can know the will of God and the power of God to perform it is that possible from what I just said is it possible for me to know the will of God and the power of God to do it mm -hmm. but it's all up to God isn't it mm -mm. if he doesn't do it then I can't know the will if he doesn't reveal to me the will and he doesn't reveal to me the power then I can't fulfill the call of God is that what it is no he gave me the ability to speak with tongues as he gives me utterance which enables me to know the will and to know the power to do it if that's all you got out of tonight it would have been worth coming but the problem with that is guess how many people don't speak in tongues enough Everyone. most most people don't speak in tongues enough you know and the Spirit of God uh, earlier on said you know why people are always asking for more anointing well why would he give you more when you haven't been faithful over the thing that he already gave you we know we should be speaking in tongues we know we should speak in tongues an hour a day I've been preaching that for 10 plus years say an hour a day, an hour a day. say shame on me <laughs> there's no shame but you understand the shame comes by not fulfilling what you're called to fulfill and we can literally people do it through their whole life and they waste their whole life not knowing and not having the power I tell you it's better to know and to have the power than to not know and not have the power anyway not only can I know the will of God and I know the power of God I can speak myself into the plan of God is it possible do you know that it's possible do you know the way to do it to speak yourself into the plan of God in the power what if I just confess a scripture and I keep confessing and what's gonna happen that power is going to come out of that scripture and be fulfilled in my life then what am I in am I in that am I in the will of God concerning that scripture mm -hmm. absolutely same thing when I speak in other tongues I can know the plan of God I can know the power of God and I can speak myself into the plan of God and into the power of God can I speak myself into the will of God yes. that just sounds strange well then you haven't been listening you can speak yourself into the will of God which means I can also speak myself or not speak myself into the will of God or out of the will of God are you getting this mm -hmm. so I call myself into God's plan for me who better to do it than me who better to do it than you to speak yourself into God's plan for you that is God's plan for you for you to speak yourself into God's plan for you who else is gonna do it me I do speak over you but who who works better in that who does it better nobody does it better than you say nobody does it better than me right glory be to God forever so I call myself into God's plan for me who better than me to speak it it's his plan for me it's his plan for you and who better to speak it than you and this pleases him can you see that this pleases him this is God's method this is the will of God for you let's go to Ephesians chapter 5 Ephesians chapter 5 let's look at verse 17 we were just talking about the will of God we were talking about speaking ourselves into the will of God and the plan of God and we were talking about that pleasing him wherefore be ye not unwise so does God want you unwise no, no. be you not unwise but understanding what the will of the Lord is is this in your Bible yes. does God want you to understand what the will of the Lord is yes and then thankfully he goes on and tells us how to do it 
understand what the will of the Lord is be ye not drunk with wine wherein is excess but be filled with the Spirit and that be filled you know as uh, Kenneth Hagin would have brought out he said be being filled it means the continual state of being filled like if you had a cup that you know had a spigot running into it and it got full up to the top and you kept filling it up mm -hmm. what happens it runs over but is the cup still full mm -hmm. the cup is always be being filled you understand mm -hmm. a continual state of being filled he says understand what the will of the Lord is be being filled with the Spirit how speaking to yourselves so you know it's one one way to know the will of God by the preacher speaking to you it's another whole level of you speaking to yourself speaking to yourselves in Psalms and hymns and spiritual songs singing and making melody in your heart to the Lord one thing I always like to bring out here melody is singing the same thing he didn't say speaking harmony to the Lord did he harmony would be speaking something that goes along with it but when you sing the melody of a song you're singing the exact same tune that the Holy Ghost is singing so you're singing melody in your heart to the Lord oh so you're saying the same thing are you getting this so you're being filled with the Spirit speaking to yourself saying the same thing that the Lord is saying we enter into the things of the Spirit by speaking this way is established this is the way that's been established from the foundation you have to speak in agreement with God and when you do you enter into his things where are we heading into his things into the spirit are you getting this mm -hmm. the way is established you speak and you enter in you call it and it comes to you if you don't call it does it come to you no the way is established if I call for it it comes to me if I don't call it it doesn't come to me if you call it it will come it's a law it's established it's how we do things this way is what's established it's the process it's the method it's the way you might want it some other way but there is no other way this is the way God has set it up you call for his things and they come to you I call for prosperity and it comes to me right I call for healing and it comes to me now where does it come to you from it comes from the Spirit let's go to Psalms 34 let's look at verse 8 oh taste and see that the Lord is good blessed is the man that trusts in him Oh, taste and see what do you taste with your, your ear no. you taste with your tongue which is part of your mouth right mm -hmm. and then you see so you have to taste and then see if I don't use my tongue I don't use my mouth I will never see that the Lord is good right and I'll never have the blessing that comes from trusting in him this is the method God has set up you call for it and it comes Hebrews chapter 6 let's look at verse 5 Hebrews 6 5 and have tasted the good Word of God well how do you taste the good Word of God how do you taste the good word by saying it in your mouth you put the Word of God in your mouth how do you taste anything you put it in your ear no you put it in your mouth and that's how you taste it you see so we've tasted the good word of God by putting it in our mouth right and that verse in Psalm said we taste and then we see that the Lord is good right we've tasted the good word of God and they and, and and the powers of the world to come what are some of the powers of the world to come we've been talking about this over and over and over what's the number one power of the world to come everlasting life if you don't have everlasting life and you're in the world to come you got problems mm -hmm. you need that yeah. it's the number one thing but that everlasting life will start to quicken all kinds of other portions of your of your being how about your physical body what's everlasting life in your physical body youth renewal, youth renewal and healing comes by that mm -hmm. you understand well we've tasted the good word of God 
and tasted the powers of the world to come are you here mm -hmm. your tongue tastes the good word of God and the powers of the world to come if I am to taste the powers of the world to come I have to say I have to put the powers of the world to come in my mouth here's one you don't have to turn there you know what it is Psalms 103 5 says satisfies my mouth with good things right satisfies my mouth again with good things so that my youth is renewed well we know that youth renewal is a power of the world to come he's satisfying your mouth you're putting it in your mouth so that your youth is renewed are you getting this it's a power of the world to come where's it coming from the world to come it's coming out of the spirit if it comes out of the spirit it's a power of the world to come if it comes out of the spirit it will work every time well how do I get things out of the spirit you taste the Word of God and you call for it it comes out this is the method that's been established are we still here mm -hmm. I don't know if you've experienced this or not I think a lot of people are really just ignorant of spiritual things like 1st Corinthians 12 says but when you begin to know the Holy Ghost as God do you understand that see again you say that 90% of the people are like wait I thought he was a power of God when you begin to know the Holy Spirit as the person of God who's in the earth the one you fellowship and you worship him and worshiping in him is the best way to begin to know him as a person right and then something comes out of the Spirit I'm there worshiping him I've done my confessions and something comes out of the Spirit a power comes out of the Spirit guess what it is a power of the Spirit it's a power of God but it's not him 99.9% .9 of the body of Christ thinks the power of God is the Spirit of God it's not it's a power of him it's something he did if I come up to you and I come up behind you and I shove you I give you a push it's something I did but it's not me I'm not the push but when something comes out of the Spirit I I wish I could get people to understand this because all the blessings of God especially the powers of the world to come they all come out of the Spirit and when they come out of the Spirit they work every time without fail because it supersedes everything else I'm worshiping the Holy Ghost I'm worshiping the Holy Ghost I'm worshiping the Holy Ghost and then a blessing comes out of the Spirit Bloop. almost like you know you put a change in and you, you push the buttons and then you know it came out of the the slot down there mm -hmm. you ever see the little squirrely the little twirly things come they push out the candy bar but it came out it was a power that came out of him do you understand and that's what this thing it's it so bothers me maybe it's just a pet peeve of mine but I don't think so because everybody says that's the Holy Ghost that's the Holy Ghost no that's a power of the Holy Ghost it's because they don't know him as God there is a power that comes out of the Spirit and it comes out of the Spirit and it works every time it is a power of the world to come now if we are to have the powers of the world to come how about no lack is that something you would enjoy yeah. money is no problem ever. do you think money is a problem ever in the world to come no. say this money, money. Is, no is no problem ever, ever. what did you just do you called for a power of the world to come you're tasting it with your mouth it listen listen it will come out of the Spirit what will come out of the Spirit what you called for the power of the world to come we're supposed to be living above the rudimentary things of the earth are you here where are we to go where are we to live in what are we to live in above sickness and disease above poverty above lack you'd think I was preaching some kind of wacky strange thing this is what we're called to we are called to glory we go from one glory to the next glory we have to begin calling for the powers of the world to come and living by the powers of the world to come I'm telling you it comes out of the Spirit when you do your due diligence and you worship the Holy Ghost and you pray in tongues and you confess the powers of the world to come they bloop come out of the Spirit and there they are the bill is paid Bloop. 
the loan is paid off say the loan is paid off loan is paid how many off. loans do you have in heaven no. a lot of loans in heaven no I call them paid for I say money is never a problem I have abundance and no lack where's it come from if it comes out of the spirit it will work every time are you getting this this sounds like a fantasy brother I know to you it's not a fantasy it's a reality and it's a reality that we're called to live in some of the powers that we're supposed to be confessing provision based on the powers of the world to come everlasting life healing by youth renewal all things working together for good for me does that sound like something that would be a power of the world to come all things working together for good for you yeah is that something that's a power of the here and now all things working together no it's the opposite of that but when you call for it listen all creation relaxes into beneficence for you there's a curse on everything right now but when you call for the powers of the world to come the whole thing just goes peace be still and it relaxes into beneficence for you it benefits you are you getting this power of the world to come if it comes out of the spirit it will work if it comes out of the spirit it will work what am I gonna say next if it comes out of the spirit it will work every time because it supersedes the lower laws this world won't hold someone operating by the powers of the world to come all creation relaxes into beneficence and it becomes easy remember Jesus saying that take my yoke upon you. it's easy is it easy in this life without it no it's hard it's a struggle it's all oh, it's oppression Arr! power of the world comes peace be still it relaxes and then it benefits you it works together for good all things work together for good for you are you getting this so you have to preach on these things because people think it's it's fantasy world when you talk about it because all they're used to hearing is three points to a message and getting saved at the end and maybe baptizing some babies the provision is there there in the spirit the way is there in the spirit now again it's hard to talk to people who've never been there who haven't even you know bumped up on the edge of being in the spirit but that you can go farther into the spirit and keep going you understand Enoch went into the spirit and didn't come out and was not for God took him where do you think we're supposed to go what is the last we're, we're the last day church Enoch was a type of the last day church we're supposed to go into the spirit I'm trying to get you to go into the spirit well I don't want to go into the spirit then you don't want to go and follow what God wants you to do in this last day you enter into the spirit provision is there the way is there when you start to be exposed to the Holy Ghost as God in the earth today and his power begins to come out of the Spirit and do things for you you start to realize he changes you he transforms you little by little until you believe you could be yay glory be to God forever I love the Holy Ghost and I love the things of God and the more that I'm close and the more that I go in guess what do I hate it more or do I love it more am I changed more to where I believe more yeah I start to believe things I never believed before the problem is people don't stay there long enough to retain him they don't stay there long enough to be changed they go in a little bit and then it just takes longer right mm -hmm. same thing with praying in tongues yeah you pray in tongues five minutes a day Woo, good you're 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 like you know 99.9% .9 better than most of everybody else but that's not gonna do it you, you, you need to be in there long enough to where you start to be changed you start to be acclimated so God can renew your mind same thing with worshiping the Holy Ghost retaining him and the knowledge of him as God I worship you Holy Ghost I worship you Holy Ghost you stay there long enough until you I worship you Holy Ghost something happens and you begin to be changed when I say you got to pray in tongues an hour a day you know that's a minimum nobody said you can't pray more than an hour a day 
because you're being acclimated to go farther into the spirit where the things of God are and the things of God are real and he takes care of you and he does things supernaturally for you I'm pointing the way and I've been pointing the way for years confessions doing your confessions every day praying in tongues every day worshiping the Holy Ghost all of these things are training you it's like training pants <laughs> it's like training you to go to the next level so he can expose you to where we're going next from glory to glory we're changed from this what we're doing here this exposure to that glory this is making sense I'm changed from this exposure by praying in tongues enough and worshiping the Holy Ghost and doing my confessions I'm, ex I'm changed from that to the next glory I'm changed from this to that mm -hmm. we're tasting the good Word of God and then what the powers of the world to come you're calling God's will for your life you're calling for it are you getting this let me pray for you Holy Ghost I thank you I know this was a lot for a lot of people I ask you to seal this message to them and let them know we are going on and we're gonna go on together into the Spirit and great shall be the manifestation of the Spirit of God in this last day we give you glory we give you praise I take authority over foolish things and other other kind of desires and wills of people that they may drop those things which are foolish and so temporary and take a hold of the eternal things of the Spirit of God for they shall be the ones who manifest in this last day they shall be the ones who do great things and know the Spirit of God as God in the earth today we thank you for it in Jesus name Amen mm -hmm.